Nine minutes and 59 seconds, exactly. Um, hold on, let me, let me make sure I'm correct. Oh shit, I made a mistake. June 26, 2008, I made a big mistake. On June 26, 2008, the United States Supreme Court that write the laws, remember, they write the, they write the laws, not the Congress. The United States Supreme Court, I don't know what their exact wording was, but I know it was a 5-4 decision. That means four judges on the Supreme Court don't like the Second Amendment. You better watch out for those guys. The Supreme Court voted, and in so many words, they commented on the hypocrisy. Remember, Washington, D.C. is our nation's capital. And it's actually kind of hypocritical if our nation's capital disallows a federal amendment. Now, the long gun being field stripped, unloaded, and trigger locked. That is a phenomenal safety system. Because you can't have a gun accident. That's the good news. What's the bad news? What if someone breaks into your house? Now, I keep saying it, the odds of someone breaking into your house to harm you are very, very rare. But if it happens, you gotta fucking deal with it. Now, take a, your sink, your kitchen sink, and fill it up with ice cold water, the coldest you could possibly get it, and put your hands in for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And take your hands out. And if you take your hands out, I want you to take the trigger lock off your gun, assemble it, and load it. And I want you to do it in 30 seconds. Can you do it? How many of you actually tried it? I know damn well there's someone watching that actually tried that shit. You cannot do it. And I'll tell you the reason why. When you are in a high pressure situation, I don't give a shit if you're giving somebody CPR after they've had a heart attack, if you're in a fire, if you've had a car accident, if you've been robbed, if you have some kind of injury, you fell off a porch and are now injured. When you are in a high pressure situation, your brain completely turns off. And in addition to that, you have no fine motor coordination. You might as well have had your hands in ice water for 10 minutes because your hands cannot move. Typing, writing, Making a sandwich requires fine motor coordination with your hands. And when someone is breaking down your door with the intention of coming and hurt you, you do not have the fine motor skills to assemble a gun, load it, take the trigger lock off. In addition to that, they might, even if you did have the fine motor skills, by the time you do that, they might actually be in your house. It might actually be harming you. And when they're as a high crime rate, the chance of you being victimized is much greater. Okay? That's simple. The chance of you being a victim of a random crime, a violent crime, is much greater. And a lot of people in our nation's capital were so damn stupid, and I'm going to say it plain as can be, they didn't comprehend that first and foremost... <sighs> They didn't comprehend that first and foremost, you physically can't assemble a weapon in 20 seconds to save yourself when a guy's breaking into your house. But they also forgot to take into account that the criminal is not in compliance with their gun law. So the Supreme Court squashed it. Now, the revolver I fired, my dealer's revolver, I fired his, I fired, I fired his revolver and I videotaped it with my camera phone and it was my very first video on YouTube. Smith & Wesson made a special commemorative revolver. Heller versus DC, Second Amendment, Model 442, Second Amendment Foundation commemorative revolver. So you can actually go on Smith & Wesson and buy a revolver with that little seal on it. It's the Scales of Justice, Heller, and DC. So, I am now a member of the NRA. And every group that is discriminated against has a right, has an organization to help them. Okay? 
homosexuals have GLAD, black people have NAACP, um, people that suffer from dwarfism have a, a little people's organization for them. I'm not going to get political and talk about different organizations and these people suck, and these people are great, and these people, I'm not going to talk about that, that's not what this is about. This is about every group of people has an organization to help them from being discriminated against. And now, if you live in Arizona, you probably have no comprehension of gun owners being discriminated against. Because in Arizona, they have fully automatic machine guns. I've seen them at rallies. You get guys, they go to a rally in Arizona, and they're allowed to fire their fully automatic machine guns. And you know what? It looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> it looks like a lot of fucking fun. Set up a target and just incinerate it. looks like a lot of fun. But in most of the country... People are discriminated against for being gun owners. And I just explained to California. Gun law here, gun law there, no one knows what the fuck they're doing. Washington, D.C. Can't own a handgun. Until now. Now, what the problem in this country is, is the politicians, as many degrees as they have, they're stupid. They get up all the PhDs and doctorates and uh, law degrees and master's degrees they want, they're stupid. Because they're displacing the problem. Every time a criminal uses a gun to hurt an innocent person in this country, the first thing they want to do is go and revoke the Second Amendment. And let's assume that on December 7th, 1941, President Roosevelt declared war on Canada. The Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. Therefore, we declare war on Canada. Does that make sense? That's what the anti-gun advocates are doing. They're declaring war on, innocence, on, on innocent law-abiding citizens every time a crime happens. And criminals are still getting lenient sentences. There's always going to be a plea deal. Okay, 95% of people that are charged with a crime in this country take a plea deal to get less time in prison or jail, whatever they're doing. Because, let's face it, in my hometown, there are 125 criminal cases a day. So if every single person went to a jury trial, you would need 600 jurors a day in my hometown. So it's understandable that people are gonna plead guilty and get a lesser sentence. But above all, gun laws by definition suck. We have a new law in New York State. I mentioned it very much earlier in other videos. Any illegal gun in New York State, automatic three years in prison. That's a good law. Because it means when a criminal is caught with a gun, they're automatically going to prison for three years right there. In addition to what else they did with the gun. Rob somebody, kill somebody, whatever. Okay? That's a good law. But making up laws, you know, citizens can't have more than ten rounds in their magazine. Uh, citizens have to have a certain number of guns. A citizen can't have more than X number of guns. A citizen can't do this, a citizen can't do that. That doesn't do shit to stop the gun crime in this country, okay? Now, I'm gonna do what gun opponents don't do. I'm gonna tell the truth now. There are a lot of gun accidents in this country. A lot. People leave loaded guns around and children get hold of them and have accidents. Those people need to be punished. People go crazy. They're laying in bed in the middle of the night, and the minute they hear a sound, they grab their gun, run out, and shoot the first thing that moves. And they kill a family member. And I'm not gonna lie when I say this, every single morning, without exception, even today, I heard a noise in my apartment. Because a lot of times when I let my mother get up to go to work, and she'll be turning the coffee pot on, or she'll be banging the door, a cabinet door, or she'll be sneezing, or she'll be blowing, blow drying her hair. There's not a single morning where I don't hear noise. And in particular last night, because they left them to Aruba today, they got up at two o'clock in the morning. I went to bed at one, they got up an hour later. So I'm laying in bed, and I hear bang, trap, boom, bing, pow, okay? And every time I say, is that you? I say, who's that? 
Oh, it's me. Okay. Right? It's a muscle. I have a gun in my room. And it's ready to go. And God forbid the doomsday scenario comes around and God forbid that someone's trying to hurt me. I can defend myself. But every single morning, boom, bang, pow, bang, dong. And I control my reflexes. And I control my ability not to grab my gun and shoot somebody. Okay, you have to control your reflex. If you're in bed, you hear noise, it's probably your family member going to the bathroom or making a sandwich or coming back late. Especially if you got a teenage kid. If you got a 15 or 16 year old kid, they're coming back at 2 o'clock in the morning. Deal with it. I'm gonna sum up, I got, I'm gonna stop and sum up. 